What's up, Patriots Nation? We're two weeks into the 2024 season, and it's clear that the New England Patriots passing game is still searching for its groove. While we've seen some solid connections, particularly between quarterback Jacoby Brissett and tight end Hunter Henry, the offense has yet to find its full rhythm and utilize the entire array of weapons at its disposal. Through the first two games against the Cincinnati Bengals and Seattle Seahawks, Brissett has distributed the ball unevenly. Hunter Henry has been the primary target, leading the team with 15 targets, 10 receptions, and 127 yards. While this connection has been one of the few bright spots in the passing game, it's clear that the Pats need to spread the wealth more if they want to keep defenses guessing. Brissett addressed this issue with reporters, acknowledging the need for a more balanced attack. You want to get everybody involved. I think that's the plan to try to spread the wealth a little bit more this week, Brissett said. He pointed out that they were just a couple of plays away from a win against Seattle, which would have shifted the narrative around their offense. But he knows that spreading the ball around is key, especially with a challenging matchup against the New York Jets on the horizon. Head coach Jared Mayo echoed Brissett's sentiments, emphasizing the need to get the ball downfield and into the hands of the team's playmakers. We got to find a way to get the ball in our playmakers' hands so those guys can go out there and make yards, Mayo stated. And that's a hybrid. It's on the coaches, starting with myself. However, breaking through the Jets' defense won't be an easy task. Led by standout cornerback Sauce Gardner, the Jets' defense has been tough to crack, particularly through the air. Their primary weaknesses have been in the running game, which means the Pats will need to find creative ways to challenge them through the air. Brissett acknowledges this, calling the Jets a really physical defense and recognizing the test they present. One player who could make a difference is wide receiver Demario Douglas. Despite leading the team in receiving yards last season, Douglas has been almost invisible in the offense so far this year, with just two catches for 12 yards on three targets. The imbalance is stark, with Hunter Henry accounting for 32% of targets, 33% of catches, and 47% of yards, while Douglas has just 6%, 7%, and 14% in those categories, respectively. It's no wonder Douglas is feeling frustrated, a sentiment Brissett understands. It's a good thing that he's frustrated, Brissett said. You want players that won the ball? The Patriots are certainly hoping that frustration fuels a turnaround. Getting Douglas more involved could be the key to unlocking the offense and giving Brissett more options. The upcoming game against the Jets provides a crucial opportunity for the Pats to diversify their passing attack and start building some offensive momentum. So. What do you think, Pats fans? Can Brissett and the offense find a way to spread the ball around and get the most out of playmakers like Demario Douglas? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And as always, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things Patriots. Let's see if the Pats can get back on track against the Jets. Go Pats!